Hi guys, Logan Jr. Chef here, and today we're going to be, going to be cooking the uh, clam linguine box. Now this is going to be really amazing because clams are super flavorful and delicious. And uh, you might be scared of them, and that's why I picked clams, because you know, you could do a shrimp linguine or a shrimp scampi, but a clam, the clams are really, they're just, they got more flavor, they're more delicious, and they're more impressive, which is really important. So, um, let's get started with this. We've got our oil here. This is just uh, some olive oil. We're going to put that in our pan here. Nice. Next, we're going to get to uh, the next part, which is going to be our diced half shallot. I'm just going to dice this on the fly for you guys. Um, got my Santuco knife. Just going to give this nice dice here. Ooh. Just gonna give it just a light, nice light little dice here. You want the chunks to still be, you know, sizable because you are gonna want to be able to get a chunk with the um, with the shallow flavor. So, um, right about there, that's about good. And then we're gonna add those in. Take our all of it, boom, boom, and we're gonna start kind of caramelizing it, you know, getting it going. And once that's done, then we're going to go and move on to our little garlic clove here. Again, you're going to want to do the same thing, although maybe a little bit of a finer dice, because this is garlic, which is uh, a little bit more pungent, a little bit stronger. But, you know, just dice up your garlic however you like to. Um, I like this rough, rough dice just because it's very rustic and very wholesome and goes with the clams. And this overall dish, you know, this is a very classic um, Italian dish. And it has a lot of rusticness, but it's also very, um, very fancy at the same time, too. And uh, also extremely delicious. So, let's get this. And there we go. Now that we've got that going, I'm just going to give it a little bit. Try to cook up here. And I'm just going to give this a minute to cook up. Now, we're going to talk about some of our other ingredients here that we're going to add a little bit later once these have um, really cooked up well. We've got our lemon here, which is going to be super important. We've got our lemon juice. We're also going to be doing some lemon zest a little bit later. Uh, we've got our fresh parsley. And then we also have a secret ingredient here. Now, this is um, this is an herb. It's uh, tarragon. Uh, you may or may not know of it. Um, this is going to be a really, really interesting ingredient. And this herb is going to set this um, clam linguine apart from others. And, uh, you know, the tarragon, it just has that kind of tarragon-y smell, and it goes great with seafood. And now here's our fresh linguine here, which um, I have cooking offset or off stage. And then we also have um, Parmesan Reggiano to finish. So, I'm gonna make sure that this is going nicely. And we're just gonna give that another little minute here. And we also have our white wines or um, vegetable stock, uh, depending on kind of how it's gonna be. Um, and that's going to give us a lot of flavor. It's going to help steam our clams because our clams need to steam in order to op open up. So that's going to be very important. You're going to want to pot with a lid on it because you're going to want to, you know, actually get some steaming action. Um, anyway, we're just going to give this a minute to cook up and uh, we'll be right back. Alright guys, welcome back. So our, um, our garlic and shallots here, they have cooked up really beautifully. So now we can add in our... Um, clams here, so we're just going to take our clams, now these have been washed off, and we're just going to add them right in, boom, and then we're going to add in our uh, white wine slash stock, right in, kaboom, kabam, and then we're going to uh, clean up our mise en place a little bit, we're going to put the lid on, and then we're going to address our herbs and seasonings here. We're going to add in our little bit of crushed red pepper flakes just a little bit, and then we're going to dice up our herbs and just let our clams kind of chill there. And these are going to add in a lot of amazing flavor. This parsley just smells so flavorful and fragrant. Alright, so now we're going to add in our lemon juice. Really good. I'm just going to do half the juice of the lemon here, and then we're also going to add in our tarragon. Just going to take off the leaves. You don't want the stem because the stems 
really ugly and, and has a really harsh flavor, so you just want to take the leaves off. I think that much is good. Here we go. Now you can start to see our flames are steaming up really well. Try not to open it up too many times. Um, and so we just want to give them a minute in there with the white wine and the vegetable stock and the lemon and the herbs. And they're going to open up and expand and let out that delicious clam juice and that amazing flavor. All right, guys, welcome back. So um, our clams are cooked. I cooked our linguine here. It's just nice al dente. You want to just cook it in a nice amount of water with a lot of salt and cook it up until it's al dente. Now I'm going to open up our clams here. Mmm. Oh, smells of the sea. Now, if you want to look for them to be open, you want to look for like a lot of steam here. Um, once again, that's exactly what you're looking for. This right here is what you're looking for. Now, we're going to actually add in some of our pasta water here. Now, this is just like a, one little ladle full. And we're going to add this in because the pasta starch will help thicken up um, our remaining kind of juice that's in here and turn it into a little bit of a sauce. So. Now it's time to, you know, just serve, and you're just going to want to take your clams here and uh, start grabbing some pretty ones, you know, since with so many of them, you can just kind of pile them on there. Of course, with clams, they're just so much fun and so delicious that um, you're going to find that your portion of clams will quickly turn into more clams than uh, the pasta. So, here we go. We're going to all look at this one. This one's just delicious with all the herbs in it. That's what you're looking for right there. And let's add in a couple more clams here. Um, of course, if any of these don't open, you don't want to eat them. They're dead. Um, you know, not very good. So be, be careful about that. But you want to try to get some of this. And then kaboom, kabam. You also might want to give it a little bit of a stir. And then we're going to add in a little bit of our clam juice here. We're just going to take our ladle. Just get a little bit. Um, of course, you can let it cook down some more and just give it this nice little bit of fresh sauce. And uh, we're going to garnish it with a little bit of our fresh chopped cilantro, or no, cilantro, parsley, and um, tarragon here, which I had left over. We're going to give it a little bit of lemon juice, just because we can, and we still have the lemon, and the fresh lemon is just going to be super delicious. Now, you could also do some lemon, lemon zest, which I think I'll do as well, just for that little bit of garnishing. And then we're going to hit it with the Parmesan Reggiano, which is just, oh, so good. And you just want a nice amount, just a little bit. Even if it's just a little dusting, the flavor is still going to be incredible. And there you go. Just this nice, amazing um, clam linguine, uh, super flavorful, and going to be very impressive. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, I hope you enjoy this Mad Acre box, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.